I had a different journey. I think I started uh, going in this more direction of uh, away from the system in a way that I was already working from home for a few years. Actually, quite a while I worked from home and then I, I wanted to start traveling and working. So I started to travel work like a digital nomad. And that was, uh, that was kind of the first step that I took that was very unusual. You know, people never heard of it. My friends were confused, like, where are you? Come home. And <laughs> I was like, no, I want to see the world. I've been home all these years, you know, I just want to go and see something and traveling. And I think that helped me, like, spiritually to open my mind to other things and to learn about new things and about the different cultures, different languages, different people, different ways, lifestyles. So I think that's one of the reasons that I was more open to this idea. Permaculture, I started learning a little bit when I went uh, in the direction of being fruitarian. I think it just kind of became natural, like, well, if I'm eating fruit, I should probably know about how to grow it, how to pick it. But it was very little at the time. At the first couple of years, I didn't learn so much. Later, I thought to get closer and I started uh, thinking about going to farms. So I went and worked in Canada in a cherry farm, organic. Um, but I didn't learn too much about growing it. that I was more open to this idea of eating primarily fruit like uh, it uh, became kind of intuition that yeah that's how we should eat we we were kind of came our relatives are the apes and they eat uh, primarily fruits and vegetables the community so I searched for raw vegan communities and I read different pages and the one about Fruit Haven sounded interesting so I applied uh, to be volunteer here and then in December 2018 is when I came and yeah I met Peter and um, the other people that were here at the time some volunteers came different people I learned about uh, how to plant trees in this climate as a tropical rainforest and different permaculture techniques and then everything up here is the Oronegro avocado that was grafted then this is a Wilson uh, the climate is mild you can grow the fruit all year there's always something else in season all year you can have bananas papayas and then different seasons throughout the year to me Puasan is a bit better a bit sweeter and it's it's much easier to open and get the fruit out and things grow really well here there's a, a lot of water a lot of sun and the temperature is stable those are the reasons that I can stay here all year and be a fruitarian. 